gonna be awesome. <laughs> awesome. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, I really expected this flame maple to just do amazing things. Now, I don't have my trans temp black. I have ordered some, but I don't have any right now. Uh, what I do have is Dark Mission Brown, and <clears throat> it's, maybe it's just not dark enough, but I mean, it's pretty damn dark. So, I would think you should get a fair amount of pop just out of using that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, it doesn't look super dark there, but it's it is dark. And I expected something to come out of that. And I mean, you see the curl, um, the flame. Uh, so I mean, it really looks like once you uh, sand it back, there should there should be some darkness in there. But there's really not. It's just. I don't know if it's just too uh, too tight and shallow a uh, curl for it to really. I, I don't know. It's it's got me concerned because I had really planned on all that flame really popping, and I was gonna do kind of a brown burst. I do have some ebony stain. That's trans tint dye, dark mission brown. I've got some ebony stain, which smells like ass and feet, but, uh, it just, ugh, there, there was nothing good about that, I don't, maybe I should try it on a bigger piece, but that <laughs> was not the effect we were going for, make this go, it may just, you know, be a real subtle effect, I, subtle's not exactly what I'm going for on this one, hmm. <laughs> Ah, uh, anyway. The top wing is now glued on. Um, I can't help but think, um, <laughs> I think we're just going to go ahead and mount the bottom wing. I think we're just going to do it. And, um, then we can get this cleaned up and we get to where the top is ready um, and then I mean it's such a tight fit with no you know wiggle room I think we can safely do that and then map out um, bridge and pickups and that kind of stuff and then figure out what we've got for uh, electronics cavity and uh, I think we can do everything we need to after that, but I'm kind of excited to get to this point. Um, I hate watching glue ups. I hate forcing people to watch glue ups. But you got to see that it happened. <laughs> I guess. We'll make it short. <sighs> Wax paper on my little piece of granite. Oh, 
shitty chisel. Well, I thought I could spend a week with a damn hand plane to get this cleaned up, or seven days with a handsaw, we could be done. So, I was a little worried about this. <laughs> it looks like a bad idea. But if you go nice and easy and don't put a lot of pressure anywhere, um, we're really not doing anything to the actual wings. And it seems to be cutting relatively uh, well. So it feels like uh, once we get through this, <laughs> eventually, hopefully before old age, um, too late, then uh, that'll clean up with a hand plane. But anyway, welcome back to the Guitar Builders Workout. So a week started to sound like a better option, so sue me. I don't want to get all the way down with this turd of a plane, but... It's way too early to do any carving. But it sounds fun. So we're going to carve the heel. Now, let's see how the top fits. <laughs> awesome. What I'm thinking on this one is more or less natural, but I want very dark brown um, figure. I want a base stain, very, very dark brown. And then I'm thinking, not a tobacco burst, but just a, a brown burst. A dark brown to pretty much natural. That's what my vision has been on this one all along. So, I gotta find something that's gonna make that. But, I mean, with that flame maple, I really want that flame to pop out. So, I gotta find a way to make it happen, Captain. It's about time to get the top on. <laughs> Which is exciting. Uh, the only thing we really need to do before we can do that, well, actually, there are two things. We need to route a cable channel. 
which is a little complicated since I don't know what a control cavity is going to look like, but I do know it's going to be down here. So we can safely um, dig us a little channel between these two and then off here. I've kind of mapped out where that bridge is going to land. Uh, just so we can stay away from it. I mean, the, um, the cavity that we're actually digging out of there is not going to be that big. But I don't know exactly how big it's going to be. Uh, I set that bridge on a squire body and the route is not quite the same. So we're going to have to do some experimenting and make our own template for that. But, long story short, um... I don't know exactly how big this, this cavity is going to be, but it's not as big as the bridge, obviously. Uh, so I think we will be pretty safe doing where I have drawn some lines here. And the router will... <laughs> oh, yeah. Up next to the fretboard, it's not going to get too deep into this... Um, pickup cavity but it should be enough that it's there so when we cut the cavity it's it's there Not necessary, but it'd be nice if I could get this channel the same depth. It's gonna be two, you know, fat uh, humbucker cable bundles. So we gotta be big enough or deep enough to accommodate the two of them. I don't think that's big enough. So, I think we'll just double up and make it a little wider. Always, 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 always dry run a glue up. I think uh, with these offcuts, um, we can make a pretty uh, effective clamping call. While leaving a little space, you know, in some places like this where we can put clamps in those particular areas just to make sure everything is good and flat. Or good and mashed, even if it isn't 100% flat. Should be 100, it's 99% flat, for sure. I'm, you know, positive. <laughs> 
Yeah. This top, this this curly maple, it's it's a little um it likes to move, so but I mean in all honesty as long as it gets mashed down and glue up, I don't give a shit what it wants to do. You know, it's not going anywhere after it's glued. <sighs> Any last words, top? Or body, as the case may be. The real reason we didn't dress the frets after we put them on is because I didn't feel like doing it. How <laughs> And I still don't. However, uh, it would be a lot easier to do, at least down here, um, before the top goes on. So I suppose we should go ahead and do that. Yeah, well, here goes everything. I suspect that's probably not going to be enough. Good place to start. Okay, I'm gonna try to clean up some glue. And get some tacos. I think we're good. Thanks for joining me. If you like what we're doing, if you're digging it, like and subscribe. Catch you next time.